Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel as always my name is Lee also known as Osiris. In today's episode as we continue on with our VGC Series 9 content we're going to feature a team based all around Verizian. So we've had some beat up teams in the past but I've very rarely seen Verizian as a Pokemon used within the format and I do think it's got some potential. Obviously with the beat up from the Dragon, the Dragapult uh, it can be quite deadly once you get it set up. It's got nice type and obviously the grass and the fight in it is pretty unique um, and it does have some drawbacks as well obviously got that four times weakness to fly in which you have to watch out for but we do have uh, ways of mitigating that to a certain extent we've got the the Mimikyu there that can set the trick room up for Glastria that can come in and kind of cause a lot of issues for those big predominant flying types that we see in the format he try and makes up nice synergy as well with the Glastria it protects us against those fire type threats and then you've got the Tapu Fini which kind of wraps up that fire water grass call between the uh, the, the the Heatran and the Verizian and then we go Dragapult as well it was the thing that we talked about the start to have that that beat up combination with the Verizian but it pairs up nicely as well with the Mimikyu the Shadow Sneak there to activate the weakness policy and then kind of start a stone roll with the, uh, the, the Dragapult there so there's lots of interlocking kind of combinations with the team as always the uh, poker pace will be down in the description and at the end of the episode after we've had a couple of games with the team we'll throw the rental up so you can try this team out for yourself so friends Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you so much as always for tuning in. And without further ado, we'll get into our first match of today. Okay, so first up today, we have a Galarian Moltres, a Comfy, Incineroar, Rillaboom, Glastria, and Urshifu. So what are we looking at here? You know, the, the thing is with the Comfy, it does provide a support, especially for that uh, the Moltres. But the one thing that we do have is Stone Edge on the Verizian. So if we can get that beat up off, which we're likely able to do, uh, we can really start going for it in this match. Obviously, they do have Intimidate that we'd need to watch out for from the uh, Incineroar. But the Verizian going to add speed everything on my opponent's team. We'd have to watch out for the Trick Room, I think, from the Comfy that it does have access to to set that Glastria up. And that could cause us a few issues, but we do have our own Glastria to kind of come in and help mitigate things if we need to. So straight off the bat, we're going in with the Dragapult Verizian. Do we want Heatran? Because Heatran could be a really good option here uh, for us. Um, it helps deal with the Glastria. It helps deal with the, the, the Rillaboom, the Incineroar to a certain extent, and the Comfy. So it feels like a really solid option here. Um, and whether or not we go Mimikyu to maybe reverse the Trick Room or just give us a little bit um, additional support uh, against that Urshifu that could be the one thing that does threaten us quite a bit. Or the other side of the, the coin is we go Tapu Fini, which again deals with everything pretty well, excluding uh, the Rillaboom here. So I think we'll go Tapu Fini. It gives us a bit of a better option, uh, stability-wise anyway, uh, than maybe the um, the Mimikyu does. Because the Trick Room isn't going to be something that really causes too much issues, or at least it should be. So let's see how we get on in this first one today. But I can imagine we'll probably see something like Moltres and Comfy from my opponent. And that's exactly what we see. So we're in a prime spot to just get this beat up off. And just go Max Rockfall into the Moltres. The issue is, of course, if they Trick Room... Um... With the Comfy, uh, this turn, it's going to be difficult for us to deal with the, the, the Glastria, of course. Uh, that makes it a bit, no, way more tricky. But I think, overall, we'll do it. This is what the team's about. This explosive mod to kick us off with. We'll go for the Max Rockfall. As we do get the Max, so no switching out, which is good to see. I'm hoping we see maybe... Um, the Draining Kiss into the Moltres to proc their weakness policy, that would be great. And then we get the beat up off, knock the Moltres out, and then we got nothing to worry about going forward. Because then we can concentrate a little bit more down on that Comfy the next turn to deny potentially a Trick Room being set up from my opponent. They are going Max as well, but I'm pretty sure that the Moltres are not going to be able to take a plus four Max Rockfall from this Verizian. And uh, it's it's one of those things, you know, where you're like, Verizian does not want to take or entertain any sort of like airstream or flying type attack at all. But, you know, it's speed tier because it ties with the other 
the just the swords of justice pokemon um it puts it in such a, a great position uh in comparison to the rest of the format speed tier wise with that 109 speed stat that it's got access to uh, so there we go we see the uh, draining case proc the weakness policy on that moltres but uh, i don't know if my opponent's expecting this we are going to be able to get our beat up off with our dragapult and proc and activate this uh this justified ability on verizian so there's two the only thing with this strategy is you're kind of like twiddling you're sitting twiddling your thumbs because the beat up animation takes forever to go through but we're on to our final one now that puts us at plus four and like i say the the max rockfall should be enough i'll be very surprised if this moltres survives this i don't think there's very much chance that it will survive it um Verizia not known for having a huge attack stat but you know when you can combine it with uh, the beat up it becomes very threatening very quickly so as you see the quick work of that moltres we might get a few games in today depending on how this one kind of pans out it's not over just yet my opponent's still got plenty of options to kind of come in and uh, cause us issues but like i say i think the next thing that we want to try and do is get rid of that comfy as soon as possible because that is causing us a few issues potentially with threatening that trick room there but we'll see what my opponent opts to bring in next but uh, losing your Moltres like that especially after your Dynamax it it's not 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 the best situation as we do see an Intimidate come in from that Incineroar now there is the temptation to go after the Incineroar here um I'm not gonna lie like I you, you would be um You'd be crazy thinking not to go after the Incineroar, but I think I'm going to go Max uh, Overgrowth or Max Leaf Storm, whatever we're talking about. And um, do we switch Dragapult out at this point? Maybe bring in something like Tapu Fini or Heatran. Maybe Tapu Fini is not a bad idea. It gives us a little bit, of, a bit more stability in a, uh, a Trick Room environment. Although it might be better. Yeah, I think we're bringing Heatran. Let's just let's just make sure that we're doing this right. So yeah, Heatran, and then we go Max Overgrow into the Comfy. Because I don't think the ins oh battle cancelled. We didn't even need to take that long. Okay, good game to my opponent. But that's that's the power of Verissi in here. Uh, <laughs> so get off to a good start. Like I say, we'll probably get a couple of games or a few more games in today. So we'll see how it goes. We'll jump straight over to our next opponent. But good game to our first one of the episode. Okay, up next we have a Cinderace, Thunderous, Incineroar, Tapu Fini. Glastria and Porygon 2 team. Now, there are a couple of issues here for our Verizian mod because Verizian is not going to go want to go head to toe with, with the Thunderous for one uh, or the Cinderace. Both outspeed us naturally and, uh, you know, we can't take the risk against potentially a Defiant Thunderous that could pop up and uh, cause us all sorts of issues. Um, they have a solid Trick Room mod which makes it very difficult to kind of function against. Um, I just need to remind myself of the Mimic you set. Do we have Taunt and Trick Room on here? Because that helps us out a bunch. Yeah, we do against that Porygon 2. Um, it gives us the option where we could potentially go like Mimic you Dragapult as a lead. Um, because then we've got the option where we can potentially shut down the Porygon 2 if we want to and we can proc our weakness policy if we're in a favorable position to do so I do think Verizian is a good late game Pokemon potentially um so we will bring that and I think maybe Tapu Fini because yeah, once once the Thunderous is gone they really struggle to to damage the Tapu Fini um he trying there's an argument to bring it of course uh, I think for the Glastria in general, it's not too bad, but I think Finny overall probably fits the bill a little bit better in this one. So, see how we get on in this one. Maybe we can make that turn one switch to Verizian and go for the beat up straight off the bat. Maybe we could do it, but it's nice to see the other modes of the team against, obviously, other other kind of builds and see how it kind of functions and operates and see how you approach different opponents. But we are seeing Thunderous and the Cinderace come out here turn one for us okay well is it defiant is it defiant hmm the problem with dragapult is obviously when you go for these max moves with dragapult like thunderous is like there where we can airstream of course um might not be a bad idea shadow sneak airstream shadow sneak max airstream they're likely to airstream anyway with the Thunderous. 
Uh, the only thing I would worry about here would be Sucker Punch from the opposing Cinderace. And where we could really catch my opponent off is go for Trick Room and then switch into Tapu Fini here. If we did suspect that. Which, you know, there is a part of me that thinks that could be a possibility. Um, but... We'll lock in with what we've got, and we'll see how we get on with Dragapult. Dragapult Pokemon I do love as well, you know. It's seen a bit more a bit more usage recently as well, I think, in a lot of teams. Um, it's still a very strong Pokemon. And what are we going to see? What's it going to be? Is it going to be the Cinderace? It can't be the Cinderace. It might be Support Thunderous, though, you know. It might be Prankster, so it might make sense. We do see the big Cinders. Max Darkness is going to be a bit of an issue bit of an issue especially if we see thunder wave right from that thunderous uh. all that all that because i don't think a max airstream is going to be enough to get it plus two i'm just going to see it chomp down on a lumberry i'd expect seen a lot more of this swagger kind of abuse with these genies you know um yeah there we're, we're losing dragapult here i think uh, I can guarantee that we're losing Dragapult here, actually, because they're plus two max darkness into us. It's not we're not going to be able to survive that, unless they don't go for the max darkness. Um, mm. Unless they don't have it. Not all Cinderace do. Okay, they go for the max airstream as well. Plus two. Now we should take this. <laughs> okay um not ideal but not the worst now thunder wave probably is an option that's going to come out for my opponent we're going to go for the trick room i mean the other option is what we do is we switch mimikyu out now into tapu fini and then we go after the thunderous because then they can't thunder wave us with the terrain up and then we've got a way to set the trick room up uh, and deal with that Cinderace. Because the Cinderace is locked into going after the Dragapult here. And I think if we can remove the Thunderous, it frees up Tapu Fini not to have to worry so much about that Eerie Impulse that could really make it very difficult for us to kind of set up and shut down my opponent's options. So we'll get the Terrain up, which definitely helps us against the one thing that can cause Dragapult a lot of issues. No Thunder Wave though. Interesting. Interesting. This should take down the Thunderous. Yeah. So, and lower the defense stat on that Cinderace. In turn, they're going to go for. Um, they're definitely going to go for the Airstream into Dragapult, I'd imagine. Humax Fireball. Huh. You, are, are they leaving? Are they leaving the Dragapult alone? I can't imagine that they're doing that. What? Why would you. I don't know why. I don't really understand. I don't understand why you would go after the Mimikyu when its disguise is up, especially because the Cinderace is going to outspeed the Thunderous in most case scenarios, unless it's a slow Cinderace. Finny coming in. Okay. Hmm. We took an absolute fat chunk of damage from that Cinderace. Because it is plus two, of course. Now it could protect here. And the Finny could have the opportunity to go for an attack into Dragapult. Hmm. Do we just double the Finny? I think doubling the Finny's the most reliable route here because the Cinderace I'm not really massively concerned with. Um. Can't max Wormwind. Yeah, I think we just Phantasm once again. And that Cinderace might be minus two defense in range for Shadow Sneak, but it does switch out. So we're going to see the final member of my po my opponent's team. It is going to be the Incineroar. Okay, there we go. Is this, is this Finny just going to protect here? I mean, I kind of don't mind if it does. It means that Dragapult gets at least another turn. But, oh dear. That is just disgusting damage, isn't it? That is just disgusting. Um, hmm. Wonder if we could. I wonder if we could 
I wonder if we could get the beat up off with Dragapult into the Virizion. Be so good if we could, you know. But the problem is, the problem is when I say that, right, is that the Cinderace is going to outspeed Virizion. So we can't really do that, you know. We need to get rid of the, the Cinderace. Um, I don't think it's got Sucker Punch because I think it would have went for it before now. Um, especially that second turn. Maybe not the first turn, but definitely that second turn. Um, so I think what we'll do is, just as a safeguard, get Mimikyu. Uh, no, what we'll do is we will switch Virizion in and we'll go for a Dragon Darts. <clears throat> and that should be enough to get the Cinderace, unless we see the Sucker Punch. But we do get another battle cancelled so on the streak today but very good game to cruise um and a nice win for us to tot up and we still got room still got plenty of time for one more today friends so what a treat on this friday afternoon we're going to be able to finish up with another one let's see if we can get this verizian going again with the beat up combination but nice to see the dragapult kind of take center stage in that one so we'll jump straight into our next game of today's episode okay our third and final opponent of the episode is up and they're playing a team of urshifu rotom heat uh togekiss rillaboom spectria and the landris therian now i'm just going to remind myself i'm pretty sure i sped this dragapult to be yeah one point faster than uh the spectra which makes us it makes it a little bit easier to deal with of course uh but we do have to worry about other things if we go down the dragapult route like the urshifu i do feel like the Verizian is very good here. The only issue would be obviously Spectra coming out uh, with Will-O-Wisp. And then obviously the other issue uh, that gives Verizian a lot of problems is going to be that Landorus Therian. Um, because we cannot we cannot uh, knock it out uh, in one hit with like, if, especially if a Max is in front of us. That causes all sorts of issues. I wonder if it's worth maybe leading something like Mimikyu Dragapult here rather than the Verizian. Maybe go Verizian route like late game, potentially. Um, and then go on like Glastria mode. Because Glastria is pretty good outside of like the Rotom Heat. Um, Mimikyu can do good damage to the Urshifu. And we do have the option where we could potentially... Yeah... Mm. Spectra causes us all sorts of issues, but I mean, Spectra Urshifu is probably our worst lead here, I think. Let's go with this. Let's go with this. That's that's three different kind of teams, three different mods that we're playing, although we're kind of going with a similar Dragapult Mimikyu combination here, but we do have the Glastria this time, which can come in and, I think, do some work for us if we needed to. Let's see. The Will-O-Wisp worries me from the spectra but we do have we did have access to finny we haven't opted to bring it here we are going to see the spectra and the togekiss um that makes things a bit more tricky for us in regards to uh getting our shadow sneak off but we do have the option to get glastria onto the field the big problem for us would be um would be of course the will-o-wisp into dragapult or well, the taunt even into Mimikyu. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Or oh, the Togekiss even maxing. Or oh, the Togekiss going for yeah anything. This is where we need Finny, I think, to support the Glastria a little bit better. Okay, we need to make our minds up. We need to make our minds up. I think we just go Phantom Force into the Spectre and we try and and, and uh, get our Trick Room up. We try. We try. We try. If we get our Trick Room up, we're halfway there. But we are going to see the Spectre go for its max. It may be going after the uh, the Dragapult here. I would imagine it probably is. I would imagine it probably is. But we don't want to pull the trigger just yet. We might say help in hand, Max Phantasm, you know. That might be an option. When my opponent kind of tries to, to fire that off into the Dragapult turn 1. Follow me. Don't mind that. Because we'll disappear. Bye bye. And uh, this Phantasm. The thing is, I don't think you go for the Phantasm into the Mimikyu. Because it's a waste of time just going for a max move into the Disguise. And we get the Trick Room up. Which is ideal. Because it means that we'll move... Uh, last this turn with Dragapult, which puts us in a pretty nice spot to uh, get some 
fat damage onto onto a bunch of things, uh, especially that Togo kiss. Like we could shadow sneak, but I think they're probably going to follow me anyway. Um, the other option is what we do here is we get Glastria onto the field right now, get the Phantom Force, and then the next turn we've got uh, a good switch in from Dragapult to Mimikyu, so that disguise just gets bust. But we can start pressure on my opponent. We're not worrying about that 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 Will O Wisp. Yeah, they have to follow me in this situation. That's why it allows us to get the Glastria in for kind of for free almost. Although they go for the Phantasm anyway into Glastria, which, oh my god, yeah. I actually forget that we're, um, they would do that. Why would you do that? But they would do that. Uh, the critical hit, not ideal, especially because we've got the light, the, uh, the, the Assault Fist. Um, okay. I think the big thing for us is to try and get rid of the, the Togekiss here if we can uh, I think we do switch into Mimikyu to take that attack a little bit better we've botched this up a little bit I don't think we can max Glastria at this point just too too low health too low health uh, we'll go after the Togekiss this could really backfire if we see protect here which we, we may do um, but they may not have protect as well so we'll see we'll see we'll see how it pans out yeah, are they gonna go just after the glass chair? Hmm, we botched this up slightly. Max Phantasm into onto uh, the Mimikyu. Okay, so it's not it's not the end of the world. That's the end of their max turns. At least we'll be able to get rid of the the Mimikyu this next turn, unless they switch it out, which they're likely to maybe do. I think. So we could potentially double up into the Spectre and then cover that that potential uh, switch out of Togekiss. Because the Togekiss is so threatened right now, right? Like we we go we go yeah we go we double in on the Spectre. It's unlikely the Spectre has Protect, but switching in Glastria like we did probably not the best play. In all honesty, knowing that the Dragapult couldn't be attacked that turn, you're going to have to get some kind of uh, value for your turn. So getting rid of the Disguise in that situation makes a lot of sense. And then potentially should have got the Glastria in a little, so it was a bit freer, you know? Um, never mind. Spectre going out, Rotom Heat coming in, going to be able to sap up these attacks pretty well. And we're not taking advantage of being able to get rid of this, this Togekiss and the Icicle Crash avoiding okay we do survive though so that's that's a huge huge bonus for us we can go for the taunt can we go for taunt because we're going to be um hmm. are they just going to go are they just going to go for a nasty plot okay we taunt them anyway so we stop that we'll go for an icicle crash this time around Hopefully it connects. I don't think it will. I think they protect again. Stall out this trick room. It makes a lot of sense to do that. But if we can get rid of the Togekiss, it makes this matchup so much easier for us. Because then, you know, Dragapult can kind of come in and have a little bit more freedom to uh, to close this one down. Yeah, there's the protect. I mean, if they nasty plot here, then that's it's not, not the worst case scenario. But they're likely just Thunderbolt, I think, into the Glastria. Yeah, get rid of that threat. Okay. 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 Um, do get the taunt onto the rotom. Now we could. Ah, uh, the damage just twist back to normal. Okay. Could we now utilize Dragapult? I think it's not a bad play, because we just shadow sneak, max phantasm into the Togekiss. We don't worry about what the Rotom can do. It's likely going to switch anyway. Have we revealed the Shadow Sneak? I don't think we have. Yeah, we just do this. Yeah, and they can't they can't dazzle and gleam us because if they do, then we get the Shadow Sneak off. And if they redirect, then the Rotom's not really doing anything other than dealing with potentially um, the Mimikyu. So, let's see. It's a bit of a mess, this game, to be honest. We set the Trick Room up to try and get Glastria in to kind of do a job, and it's kind of just done the job of, of stalling out 
my opponent to the point where we can get this board position back without the spectre on the field um so yeah it just feels a little bit messy but we'll see can dragapult be the savior here and then it would be nice to finish off the game with the verizian I swear with a beat up combo but we will soon see now we should be able to remove the togekiss from the field now it just all depends on if we see follow me or not i think but i mean Oh no, we get it. Okay, that is that is what we like to see. They're going for the dazzle. They've been drawn in. Okay, well this makes things a little bit easier. Although we have to worry about, we still have to worry about uh, Urshifu, you know? Because Urshifu can come in and do all sorts of nasty things to Dragapult. But we'll take, we'll take a sucker punch. We'll take a sucker punch. Um, and a Shadow Sneak and a Max Airstream will be enough to get the Urshifu. Because uh, the Thunderbolt shouldn't... No, nah, no way. Not getting the Mimikyu from this range. Um, and it depends. Like the Spectre. Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. No, nah, I think we go after this. Like if the Urshifu comes in, right? We try to sneak that. We go after the Spectre. And then um, Verizian can close the game up for us. That's that's how it's going to work. If it is Urshifu Spectre. There's the horse. And... Is that it? No. What's out? Oh no, the Rotom. <laughs> the Rotom's still out. Okay. Um. All right. Well, the Rotom. I mean, what's the Rotom doing? I mean, we just play rough the Rotom in case the Urshifu does decide to come in on that slot, and we go for Max Phantasm into the Spectre. There's, it's a, like, there's no, there's no discussion here. This is what we do. Okay. Well, we see, we see the Protect. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. That Rotom, because it's taunted as well, not really causing us too many issues. Wow, we get very close to a knockout there. They're just going to go for a Thunderbolt again, I'd imagine. But the minus two defense that this Rotom's on, it's going to take a decent enough chunk from the player off. Yeah, so that's good. Um, and the Overheat coming out. This is perfect, actually, because now this sets up the Verzian to come. Oh, we actually survive. Okay. Okay, that, that's, that's ideal. Now we shadow sneak the Spectria and we go for the Max Phantasm into the Rotom. And that makes it so much cleaner for us. And then we still have the shadow sneak to kind of go into that last turn against the potential Urshifu that's sitting in the back. Um, it's been a bit of a Dragapult show today, but you know, we still got the Verizian. We can still we can still wangle our way with it with a justified to finish this off, depending on what the last Pokemon is, and we may need it, you know. Still don't know that that fourth and final Pokemon that my opponent's got. So we might we may still be able to see this justified Verizian close the day up for us. But I mean Shadow Sneak, there's no way that it's not taking the Spectra down. If something comes in like the Urshifu from the back, we we break its sash, so that's that's great. Anyway, um, and the Rotom, yeah, in a in a in a, in a nasty spot. Plus two Dragapult are going to be able to kind of do the biz for us here and uh, close this one up, which is really nice. So we'll see what this last Pokemon is and uh, finish up with the Turkey today. Are we going to be able to close it out, or are we going to see? And we're going to see that third and final battle cancelled message. Hopefully not. But uh, yeah, the Urshifu coming in. Okay. Did we sacrifice? Yeah, we sac Yeah, we do it. We do it. Okay, we get the Verzian in. The only drawback here would be would be Sucker Punch taking us down. Um, and I just hope hope it doesn't happen. I'm kind of confident that we're in range to take the Sucker Punch, but I could be wrong. Okay. Well, that's still it's still fine, because we still got Close Combat and we still got Shadow Sneak. So, regardless of whatever happens, Verizian is closing this one up today for us. <clears throat> so, there we go. Bish, Bash, Bosh. Shadow Sneak, Mimikyu actually has put in a lot of work today for us. Mimikyu has done really well. I still feel like we we didn't make the most optimal plays um, with with our first few turns, setting the trick room up, etc. Ooh, they're scarfed. 
That is interesting. They're not the water type, are they? That will make things very difficult for us if they are. But they're not, I don't think. No, of course they're not the water type. What am I talking? What am I talking about? What am I talking about? They sucker punched. They can't be the water type. They just. How did they outspeed Verizian though? How did they? I need to check this Verizian spread, which I'll do before putting the rental team up. But that that seems a little bit odd. It's like a bunch. How did they close combat before us? Suspect. I'll check the team, make sure everything's as it should be, and then we'll jump over and get the rental code for you, friends. Here is today's rental team. There were a few issues, and the answer to why that issue few had sped us in the last one, because we had a negative speed nature on Verizian. Now, that has been resolved. We've nature minted it. We give it the jolly nature, so everything should be as it as it should be. Um, obviously, as well, um, we've got everything sorted as it is down in the poker pits below if that makes sense so sorry for the confusion there but crazy to think that we went through three games with verizian not even optimally trained and it still crushed it in today's episode which is amazing so the team is fixed all up together all nice and good you can see how it functions we've got some nice modes in there everything kind of interlocked like we covered at the very start of the video so if you do try the team out i hope you have a lot of fun with it it is going to be a fun team to play around with and verizian is just a pokemon that deserves a little bit of love so if you've got a spare moment and you want to play around with something a little bit more fun a little bit more offensive on the ladder Give this team a try, and if you do, let me know down in the comment section below. But thank you so much, as always, for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day. Have a great weekend, and we'll be back with more action on the channel very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves, and bye-bye.